We can talk now to Pierre-Yves Gaultier. He's in Paris uh, with his insights. He's founder and head of strategy for Alpha Value. It's an independent equity research company. Uh, so good, mor good morning to you, sir. Thanks for joining us. So tell me, you know, how much of a concern, how much of a driving factor is this uh, debt crisis in Europe going to be going forward, say, in the second half of the year for equity markets? Well, we think it's going to keep the lead on the equity market for quite some time, actually. Uh, we had a situation where low rates across the world help kick up valuation for most stocks. And we think, obviously, that uh, the uh, transfer of uh, government debt into the private sphere is going to be a lead for most of the uh, financial assets valuation. And clearly, for the European context, we don't see the earnings growth as being strong enough to justify uh, current valuations. What Very qu quickly. Sorry, sorry. I was just going to say, you know, what are some of the other factors? A lot of people are talking about the divergence, the decoupling, perhaps, of the U.S. economy uh, and, and Europe, with Europe lagging behind. That's a fact. We know that in terms of recovery, Europe is much more uh, quick of the mark. It's much less quick of the mark than the U.S. can be. So clearly, that's one of the aspects. And obviously, everybody has been playing the emerging context as well. So the reasons to, to be in Europe uh, in their current valuation are really quite weak. Where in the world are we going to see the growth in the second half? Well, I we, we, we take the view that the, the well, the uh, potential for the European market is about 6%, 6-5% over the next six months. And that will come mostly from uh, minimum earning growth across the universe uh, in Europe. But most of that union, uh, earning growth is already fairly discounted as, ma as far as the mid caps are concerned, which have been rising the most across the European context. So we don't see much spark again across Europe, in addition to the fact that we, we, we have this debt crisis. So where do investors look then for uh, better returns? Well, uh, if, if we are speaking of, uh, of equities, Europe is better avoided. We would probably uh, be very cautious in terms of, uh, of even getting exposure to uh, corporate bonds, because those are already quite expensive. So maybe to, to some extent, uh, government debts, yeah. Now, we've just put up your uh, favored sectors there up on our screen. Uh, tell us uh, why you're looking at uh, media, food and beverage, and some of these others here. Well, because those are the sectors where, which combine uh, for us not only a positive momentum, i.e. the sort of uh, dynamics that we have seen on, on some sectors which are recovery sectors, plus current valuation, which remains pretty uh, acceptable. And this is not the case for other sectors, such as the car sector, for instance, which has already become expensive. So we were, we were making quote of the media sector, the food sector, uh, the um, uh, uh, IT uh, services sort of sector. And uh, I just, well, I can, just cannot read the slide right now, sorry. Now, if we look at company earnings a little bit closer, are we finally starting to see some of this top line growth that's needed? Yes, but we draw the attention to the fact that top line growth will be limited. Uh, if you take away the commodity sector and you take away the financials, the top line growth in 2010 will be only 3%, and that's not great, and will be only 4.5% in 2011. And this is not enough to pull up uh, again uh, the uh, profits in a substantial way. But you say that company earnings are going to take a couple of years to get back to 2007 levels. Would it not then be a good time to get in now? Yes, but the point we are making as well is that uh, they, uh, the company has been, have been fairly uh, resilient in terms of uh, defending their upper market margins over the last two years. So the upside in volume is not going to be extraordinary. And unless we have very rosy news in the domestic context, i.e. the European one, it's unlikely that we'll, be, we'll see more positive surprise than recovery and earnings. So this is the point that we are try, trying to make. And stepping in now is not a good idea as long as we do not have a clear view about the uh, risk context.